you guys got me into this man all right but um i'm gonna be honest in i i've been nothing but respectful and mature to skeptic as we split um i know you guys might probably like he, he even messaged me like he carried me which i i completely understand i didn't really perform too well um as i would have but obviously you guys saw me play as a solo sometimes and that's because the comms were just not there like i would say something but um it would just want to go that way you know what i mean um but yeah i'm obviously splitting with skeptic as duos um he he dm me and said do you want to show duo i carried my own weight it could be duo and i told him i told him yeah I, I i even said like bro you're a good player but i don't think we fit as a duo and i even tweeted out like i don't know if you saw this one hold up chat i don't know if you guys saw sway's tweet but he even said he was like um he even like compared look at it like compare the tweets boys like he, he tweeted out like what is it called oh shit i'll show screens in a second like okay look like this and then he writes this split with clicks and need to do that leads in uh teamwork need to do it for future events no hate to skeptic he's the homie i'm gonna do nothing but be respectful to him because i'm not gonna be an absolute moron and say the stupidest shit in my life this is passive aggressive what he wrote and you guys know that that's just passive aggressive that's absolutely immature and that wasn't needed for organization that has an organization that hurts me that hurts him as a that hurts him as well um but he I, I told him i don't want to be duos i don't know why he i don't really know why he said that um that he split for me but obviously it's just it, it's immaturity i'm not gonna really say anything um the way the way that i put on twitter i feel like i did it a good way i didn't really give it give it attention you know what i mean i didn't want to give it attention i don't really want to do that since i'm not that's just not me bro i'm not gonna start drama that i really don't care about and i know that you guys i know that you guys know that like I, I i didn't want to do it with him but obviously skeptic skeptic's a good player i have nothing against him but um it's just a little bit annoying with how he's how he's thinking or how he's saying it you know what i mean that tweet that i deleted yeah I, I was in the moment i don't know if you guys saw that i was in the moment i got i got really really pissed off because like i this is this is the last thing i'm saying because i'm not i'm not going anymore I, I don't like i said i don't want to give attention to something that i don't really care about um but like he he blocked me or he like trash talked to me trash talked me a lot before one of the biggest events in my life which is solos solos i obviously wanted to do really good but he talked he said a lot of shit that really hurt me like that day before solos which really pissed me off before one of the biggest events in my whole entire life which was really like shut the f dude like honestly dude so that that pissed me off and then he blocked me and like did he even say fucking congrats his dad said congrats to me his dad because his dad is actually f like mature dude i don't know really. it's whatever dude i i don't i don't want to get into it because that, that, that's just not me um, I'm not gonna expose anything else. I'm not gonna expose what he says. Like I said, that's not me. If he wants to expose what I said, he can go ahead. Like I said, that's not that's not me. But I just wanted him to say at least something that is nice to me. Um, like congrats. Then the fact that he's 15 and I'm 14, that's just I don't know, dude. Immaturity goes a long way, dude. And I know, like when I'm a chat, I, when I talk to you guys in a way, when I talk to you guys, um what is it called you guys know when i talk to you and make content i'd like be funny because i like i'm a content creator i'm obviously a pro player but i also try to be um a content creator but you guys know when it, like i'm actually being serious i'm gonna take it really mature i'm not gonna make a wrong move but obviously i'm immature sometimes when i'm talking to you guys trying to be funny and just doing whatever whatever person um good shit today or yesterday but it's complete whatever all right i'm gonna drop it i have really nothing to say I'm not gonna really say anything other than that. You guys heard, um, you guys heard what he said, or you guys heard what I said, and that's all I'm gonna say since I don't really wanna drag attention. You guys, hopefully, you guys understand what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm looking for a duo. You know what I mean? I don't know, dude. It's just like it's really, really, really annoying. It's whatever, dude. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously talking with Booga. You guys need to understand, like, I'm gonna obviously try out people. Like, I'm gonna try people out instead of just... Like, obviously, if I try out Booga, or if Booga tries out me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, holy shit. If he doesn't want to... If we don't, like, mesh, that's completely okay. You know what I mean? 
That's why I didn't really respond since I know that you guys, you guys know that what actually like happened. You know what I mean? You guys know that what he said is is silent dissing me. It's just like whatever, dude. You do you, man. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, but I mean that's about it, boys. That, that's really about it. I never really want to drag attention, so that's like not me. That's why I didn't tweet anything that was stupid. Cause like I said, whack. It's not me, yo. That's not me. It's whatever. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yo, he met Brookshot. I was there, dude. This guy's face got so. It got redder than a freaking tomato, dude. All right. You had to see his face, bro. His eyes were like, literally out of his eyeballs, dude. It was absolutely. Okay, clicks. Where do we meet at then? Huh? Where do we meet at then? The hotel in the lobby, the Grand Hyatt. Trust me, I saw. Not sure at all. All right, then where do you meet? Oh, at huh? the airport. Not true at all, still. You're still uh, wrong. Try again. Which place then? Huh? Okay, for the time being. What's this? The amount of players you see on this Not stadium. Not King. Sure uh, he's he's your player. His, 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 his self to that angle right there. The wall. You have no backwall, dude. That oh! is so scary. Oh! It's still coming in, but he's Dude, that guy was just chilling with no backwall. Keep talking, bro. To the east side right there. Keep it up with that gun. He can figure out that. That's milk right there, bro. Let's the Same one that just tried to make a move on him. Cafe con leche. Cafe con leche. For Evil Mayor. Just the last match, and I think that says a lot about oh. what is possible. In 11th place when we rolled into this game, Pika trying to find a way inside, pushing down through the outside. Maybe. Does in fact get the wall replaced? Are you kidding me? Used the shockwave to get down the wall that his player inside was smacking out with it. Uh, he, it that's unbelievable. He basically called so the bluff. Ballers still rotating on the low ground. Tifu making his way across. A lot of damage coming in. Only one minute in the inventory and 15 builds remaining. A tough spot for Tifu. He's so close to placement, but can he survive? The king with the elimination. Player account continuing to drop. Bizzle, Takamura, Zayt picking up multiple eliminations. 30 players remaining. 29 to get closer and closer. Benji Fishy goes down. Tifu eliminated in the box. Kurtz picks that one up. Now we'll end Tifu's Fortnite World Cup. Mr. Me knew the whole thing. He's buying. I'm going to tell you right now. And there's the dance. I don't know what that is, but that's. I'm going to bet his dad if he's got moves like that. <laughs> And that's what it's all about. Booga hasn't moved, as we'll probably need security to get him to leave this arena. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up again for Booga, your new fort. Playing for here, bud. He is definitely tearing up. Family, man. Sentinels. And finally, you know what? I don't even think we need to say anything else. Give it up one more time. Your champion of the world, Booga. Oh, he's crying now for sure. There's no way you don't cry when your parents come. He's got to be crying. He'll make a move on the outside. He is in the shadow form still, and you can keep this by Joe oh, against the wall. That was not a good shadow bomb, I can tell you right now. Got to be disappointed there. Big hit from above, down to 55 HP. Tifu, the edit from the outside, and he is eliminated by King. And look who it is again, King, the player with seven eliminations in game number one. Keeps the aggression going in game two. The heavy sniper that immediately destroys that wall and is rewarded with incredible loot, almost max builds as well. Tifu, a very quiet start to today's World Cup competition. Here's that elimination on Tifu, a shot from above. A little bit of shield damage, but a big hit from the outside. And using a heavy snipe to take that wall almost instantly. Very intelligent play there. Again, more I just lay him out and then uh, move on from there. Lay him out, move on. 350 pot, there it is, from the man himself, back to UGP. 350 pot. Thank you once again, Jordan, for that. Now Yo, hey, Jordan, that good that, Jimmy. In a few moments what? here. Jordan, that good that. hyped up nicely, and I think we can do it again. I gotta, this is it. Up. This is for this community right here. Are you watching on uh, home, Twitch or uh, you here with us in New York City. Ladies and Why? gentlemen. It's a t-shirt full of glitter. There's, dude, I'm actually done imposing my P.O. box. I'm closing my PO box, dudes.
I'm closing it. I'm actually closing my P.O. box. Good shit, dudes. Good shit. Fun while it lasted. <laughs>